Thanks for joining us this Saturday to talk about adenovirus. What is this virus? So this is a virus we see year round and it has even still come through social distancing because it's really hard to clean off surfaces. So we still see it. It's a virus that is the most common cause of viral pink eye in kids. And the classic picture we see is pink eye with fever and a sore throat. And I have had parents swear to me on the phone after hours that their child has strep throat. And then when they come into the office, it's no, it's, it's adenovirus. So it can be very tricky to tell by just looking at the throat. Adenovirus goes to everybody from newborns all the way to senior citizens. Kids tend to get it a lot because they like to put their fingers in their mouth and nose and rub their eyes and not cover their coughs. But eh, so do we as adults sometimes too. <laughs> so this virus can come out of any bodily secretion pretty much. So saliva, tears, urine, who, anything you cough or sneeze up, it just likes to affect the whole body. Bleach gets rid of it, but alcohol doesn't. Why is That's that? Right. That's right. It just is the way this virus is killed. Bleach is really good at killing it. So your Clorox type cleaners, watch out. Some of those Clorox cleaners don't actually have bleach in them. So you have to watch on that. Swimming pools, if they're really well chlorinated are great, but in our hot summers, the chlorine can fall off and it can easily spread through swimming pools holes in the summertime. So you have to think about that too. And then a good oral rubbing your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. As long as you do it long enough, you'll clean your hands off that way. I think this whole year has been teaching us how to keep our hands thoroughly washed and clean. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> so what about the treatment? So it's actually supportive. If you have a good immune system, you're a healthy person, you'll fight it off okay. It's annoying because you're going to get some degree of some eye irritation, sore throat, fever, Motrin or ibuprofen or Advil can really help with that. Sometimes you'll get a case of bacterial pink eye on top of it. So if you get a lot of thick drainage from your eye, definitely reach out to your doctor for some eye drops in that case. Sometimes you can actually catch pneumonia from adenovirus. And most of the time it's viral pneumonia, but if you get a really productive cough, it, there can be bacteria mixed in there. So high fever lasting more than three days. So 101 more than three days. Fever 102 at all at any time. Or if a baby's less than three months old and it's just 100.4, go ahead and be seen by your doctor. Thick eye drainage are very productive cough. The tricky times for adenovirus is when it causes bloody urine and copious diarrhea. There's not a lot to be done about that. It's supportive care with probiotics and electrolytes and pushing through it. Anything else you wanna mention on adenovirus? Yeah, if you go to your doctor and there's a sore throat and you know maybe it's not your usual doctor and they look at your throat and say, oh, it's, it's just strep throat without testing, I don't advise that. I think it's really important with sore throats to test because a lot of adenovirus, I think sometimes gets treated with antibiotics when it's not necessary and just throws off your immune system and your GI tract. So be careful on that. Make sure for antibiotics for sore throat, you get tested. Thank you so much for sharing on adenovirus. That was very- You're welcome.